We are trying to look at this in a fiscal way as well as an emotional way in trying to serve the people that the Medicaid system serves. I just ask in the end today, looking forward to the largest expansion of health care in the state of Illinois, that we would look at the uncertainty of the numbers that we're looking at right now. We're not sure if it's 300,000, 500,000, or 700,000. We're not sure sure after the first three years if it's going to be a 90% rate or will it change to a 65% rate? Will the cost to the state be $1.5 billion or will it be $6.5 billion? Right now across the United States this issue this week is being debated in legislatures across the country. Only 25 states have opted in, taking the cautious approach, not knowing how much it will cost their state, especially states that are in financial, fiscal, um, ill-footed right at the time being. So that's why I would ask you to take a second look at this before we take this vote. Because as I pointed out in one of my original questions to Representative Feigenholz, we do not have to opt in now. We can wait till the fall. We can wait till the spring session next year. We can wait till the debt ceiling talks take place in Washington in September. And then we will be more certain about the facts. We will know if the options on the table in the federal government are going to have changes as far as the rates go. So I would ask all of you right now to defer your decision today on this major expansion of health care until we have more clarification on the federal fiscal policy. Remember, the numbers are $985 billion as to the cost of this expansion with a federal government with a debt of $18 trillion and a state government that Judy Bartopinka, our comptroller, said even with the extra $1.5 billion we got in April that in the end of June we will have on hand $7.5 billion of unpaid bills. We are trying to pay the Medicaid bills because we care about the population that needs their health care. And I'm asking you, by deferring this decision, to not end up having to make the heart-wrenching decisions that we did last year in the SMART Act. Please, let's defer this decision till we have more financial knowledge as to where we're going and protect the solvency of the state of Illinois, enabling it to take care of this most vulnerable population in the future. Thank you.